agree with Black that. Black Lives Matter! 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 So I'm not going to take this time to sit here and go on my personal spiel about how I feel about the situation with George Floyd and whatnot. I've actually already done that. If you check the link in the description below, you'll find my Instagram post where I talked about my stance and my position on it. Of course, it was tragic, horrible death being murdered by those cops and all, and my heart and prayer goes out to him and his family. I want to take this time to say that we do need change, and the way we get change is by organizing, uniting, making yourself heard, and getting out there and vote. And that's one of the powerful things that we have. A lot of the looting and rioters are bad actors who are either doing that on purpose to give Black, Black Lives Matter a bad name, which they've done for years, or they're just people who are out there trying to take advantage of the situation to, you know, get free shit or, you know, loot things and just do brainless, mindless crimes for no reason. If you guys are interested in hearing what I have to say, I'll show a little snippet right here. Check it out. I guess I just want to address the, uh, the death of George Floyd a little bit. Um, and I guess I just want to say that it's sad what happened to the man. The fact that he was killed, murdered by that cop, it's terrible. Um, it sucks, man, because this is something that like happens. It's, it happens every day, you know? And it, it, it happened before, it's not the first time it's happened. So yesterday, which was Sunday, May 31st, I went to a different protest. I say different because I'm going to another one today, but a different protest based around the same organization um, and causes. And it was very peaceful, very organized. It was a bunch of people organizing and unifying over a common cause, which is to um, hopefully, eventually help minimize and if possible, eliminate racism. Uh, but not only that, but also police brutality, because police brutality doesn't just affect only black and brown people, it affects people who are white as well as Asian, etc. Um, it seems to be an issue that is more common than it should be. Um, and I will be the first to say and exclaim that not all cops are bad. And because um, my father's one, so um, and I've met plenty and I know the majority are not bad. So we just have to, you know, find a way to bite down and make sure that the cops who are giving the rest of the cops a bad name are taken care of and, and given to the justice system and taken care of appropriately. Anyway, I am headed to another protest today at 6 p.m. That is literally in like 20 minutes, so we're gonna head down there together and see what happens. You guys can see behind me or not, but there's a huge like group of people down there past me. Marching down the road. It's a huge gathering man. This wow. Thank <laughs> you. 
And I'll say that a lot of people are judging just by the uniform. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know me as a Yeah, I'm right now. Fuck cops. Black <laughs> lives matter. White silence is violence. Uh, Black Lives Matter, support, donate, protest, anything you can, Any, even a retweet will help. Um, thank you for coming out. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, yellow perils when Chinese Americans started to invade the U.S. and white Americans were scared of Chinese immigrants coming and taking their jobs. Um, so that's part of it. And obviously Black Power, you know, we're both minorities out here and we got to help each other any way we can. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful protest so far. There hasn't been any um, any riot or violence yet, so that's good. We did try to get the police to know with us, and only two out of eight did, which was really disappointing, because if you say that you're with us, then you would have knelt with us. But it's okay. I think it is getting awareness, and I love seeing everyone out here, all different diversities. My hopes is just that black people can be equal in this world. We don't have to worry about going out the doors, getting shot. We can't even worry about paying for cigarettes and getting. He died. George Floyd. George Floyd died, bro, because he bought some cigarettes and he had a counterfeit twenty dollar bill. A counterfeit twenty dollar bill. And then Jeffrey Epstein has his own island. He raped hundreds of women, and they didn't do anything. He died peacefully in a cell. I don't know if it was peacefully, but he he, he didn't they didn't get justice. We just need justice for black people. Trayvon Martin, Breonna Taylor. It goes down to Emmett Till all the way to 1619 where the first slaves came to this land. And they still haven't like, like, like righted that original wrong, that sin. And this is what we're fighting for today. We're fighting for equality, we're fighting for peace, we're fighting for black lives just so we can be equal to everybody else. That's my message, bro. That's beautiful, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. It feels like for a while now the Black Lives Matter movement has had a negative connotation attached to it in some respects, in some communities. And honestly, every movement that has ever existed, every organization, every entity, every the government itself, everything can have bad actors in it that, and we all know what sells in media, it's the negativity. So they'll hyper focus on one negative aspect and that'll be what represents that certain community or that certain organization or a certain entity, so forth. And so, um, just being out there protesting and all that firsthand, I could just say that, you know, everyone's respectful, everyone has their opinions and sometimes, um, you know, there's a huge contrast between those opinions even within the same group. But um, for the most part, we're all fighting for the same cause and there was no violence no negativity, no hate. Um, at one point, you guys may have seen some anti-protesters came up. It's pretty far away, so they weren't, you know, super obvious. But some anti-protesters came up, and they started protesting against um, the Black Lives Matter protests and the equality protests, etc. <laughs> Kara, what are you doing? All that just to say that um, when you see rioters, looters, and whatnot, they may claim Black Lives Matter, but the true identity behind Black Lives Matter is strategizing, organizing, and executing um, plans that are peaceful and lawful, etc. So, um, yeah, that'll be how I end this. <laughs>